it's the perfect snack for the fall season. This morning, we've got professional chef, recipe developer, and writer, Chef Julie Hardigan. She's going to show us how to make some delicious zucchini pepperoni pizza bites. Exactly. Yum. Yes. Yes. So good, right? And <laughs> we all love pizza, especially right now with yeah. football and sports, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. It's the time of year to be enjoying pizza, but I mean, a lot of people are trying to go gluten-free, low-carb, lighten things up in the kitchen. Right. So what I love to do as a recipe developer and a chef, I used to be an engineer, so I'm Got it. <laughs> I'm always looking for cool little hacks and ways to make foods healthier, lighter, easier, share a little cooking tip. So, yeah, yeah let's get into it. These so are we delicious. started with um, some zucchini. Right. So, what we're going to do is use zucchini that are guys around this size because what you want to do is look for a smaller zucchini. They cutting? have less seeds. Do you want to get in there? Sure, I look do. I love in. this. All right, awesome. So, you're going to cut them around that thick. Because you want them to hold up when you cook them. And so what, this is like your bagel then. Exactly. Okay. So what we're doing is a little knockoff on a pizza bagel, basically. Okay. So instead of having a little bagel crust, you're going to have a zucchini crust. Okay. You can get around 12 pizza bites out of it. Okay. You're going to put them on a baking pan like this. Mm -hmm. And here's one of my little top tricks, you guys. Okay. And for you too. A baking rack like this. Let me show you. Usually people put cookies on these yeah, to cool, to rest. Oh. If you put this over a baking pan, Always line it with foil because who wants to be scraping melted cheese? Hello. Off a pan, no <laughs> cleanup. Um, you're going to put your zucchini on here. I'll help you. There you go. By the way, we're going to be doing this or mock doing it in the oven today, mm -hmm. but at home you could also do this in a toaster oven. So oh. if you don't want to fire up the oven, this makes such an awesome little snack for yourself or for your kids after school. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is going to quickly spray it with a little bit of olive oil cooking spray mm -hmm. just to give it a little bit of flavor and it also is going to help with the browning when you put it in the oven. Okay. Next we're going to season it. This is a quick little shortcut that I love. It's uh, garlic salt. Oh yes. That way you take one thing out of, yeah, out of the cabinet, yeah. right? So we're going to give a quick season. It's all season. about making things easy. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. And this is going to add some really great flavor to the zucchini too. Then we just have um, three quick toppings that are going to go on. But what we're going to do first is pop these into the oven. And I'm going to show you. You're just going to broil them for a few minutes just to get them a little tender and a little bit brown. Okay. So we're going to do a quick swap. And I've got some right here so I can show you guys okay. what they would look like. Oh, yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. So after just a few minutes in the oven, they come out with like a nice little browning on top. Mm -hmm. I don't know if everybody can see that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, cool. That's what you're looking for. So now what we're going to do is top them with a little bit of pizza sauce. Okay. I use pizza sauce because it has kind of a denser flavor. Marinara's can be great too. And again, this is time saving. There's really no need to go homemade here unless you have some left over from some other right. dish you were doing. So yeah, I love this dish for like after school snacks, the sneaky way to get your this kids to eat more awesome. veggies. And you know what? I'm always looking to figure out what to give the kids after school. Totally. Or, or for yourself. Yeah. You know, you want like a savory little snack and you want all that pizza flavor, but you want to cut the carbs. Then we're going to go with some part skim mozzarella on top. Super simple. Takes no time at all. You could have fun with These what cheeses cute. you want to. Totally adorable. And then this is my best, seriously, one of my best secrets. Mm -hmm. I once I so I'm a chef and a recipe developer. I want everything to taste delicious. Yes. And sometimes when you use like a, a substitute product, you're left kind of wanting. Right. 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 So this one, turkey pepperoni. These are the zucchini turkey go. pepperoni pizza bites. I gotta tell you, like turkey bacon, mm, like kind of not as turkey pepperoni, same savory flavor mm -hmm. and like a third of the fat and calories. I love it. Yeah. So what we've got some here is a little bit chopped up. So you just chopped up the Yeah, slices. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to like sprinkle it on. Okay. I love that you're jumping in here oh, and yeah. cooking with me. I love learning all these new little tricks. I've got two little ones at home, so uh, I'm always looking for... And you know what? This is totally something that the kids can help with. Yeah, I don't know how old they are. Not processed foods, not exactly. you know, something that's a little healthier. Something a little healthier. And you know, there are so many people who are going gluten-free, low-carb for different reasons. Right. And you know, again, just another great way to sneakily get your veggies. And when then the kids we... help make it, they oh my want to eat it, They right? always want to eat it when. It's a great yeah. way to get them involved. Yeah. So then, what I've got back here, I've got some made for us. Oh, so I can so show cute. you what they look like. Yeah. So those would just go back in the oven for, you know, um, one or two minutes under the broiler. And again, you could do it in a toaster oven, too, if you wanted. Yeah. And then this is what your end result looks like. Okay. I know we've been up for a while. We're ready to go. <laughs> it is good. Yummy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could do this. So the great thing is the zucchini will hold up. So you can pick yeah. them up. They're great for little parties or for football parties or, again, for after school 
I love sharing little quick cooking tips and hacks like it's that. It's great, and you're right. The turkey bacon gives it just that little salty, flavory, savory. Exactly. It gives you that it. full pizza style experience that you might have been missing otherwise. You know, it really jumps it up. But you know what? If you were vegetarian, chopped olives would do the right. same job. Kalamata yeah. olives or something like that. Sounds great. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing these hacks. Thank you for having me if here. If you want yeah. more information, just go to our website, WTNH.com. Go to the on air tab and pull down the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.